so I have some plastic auto trim removal kit pieces. I'm just gonna try to use these to scrape uh, the remainder of this glass um, off the van. I have some plastic on the ground, so I'm just gonna rip that off. You should use gloves and safety glasses. How do I get this glove on? I really highly recommend that you get these plastic trim removals. <clears throat> a lot of people say to use razor blades, but really just is going to mess up the paint a lot. We've also got a rubber mallet because where this urethane come off really easy on this side, it's really stuck over here. So I'm just kind of gently getting behind it and just tapping it. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to replace this window as well but this seems to work pretty good, a rubber mallet and a trim kit puller. So just really slowly pulling off all this urethane. This really nice no drill ladder from Juan Esquizita is in my way. So I'm gonna pull that off, which not a big deal. I was thinking about moving it anyways, because I don't really like having it in front of my door handle. So I'm gonna pull the ladder off and then finish pulling this trim. So that was a good decision. I got the ladder off and I can use my wide tool, just kind of get up under that urethane and just tap away at it, get it all off there. And again, I've got my plastic out here, so I'm catching that glass. So you can see how this plastic piece is eating at the urethane and getting down to the primer, but it's not chipping the paint, which is pretty important. So you really want to get all this off so you have a good adhesion to your to your primer. I like talking to the camera. Because. So we're making really good progress here. You can see I'm exposing all the green primer and then I'm losing my edge on my plastic tool. So I'm just gonna file that back out. So I have a nice sharp edge to keep chipping with. I haven't lost any paint or primer down to the metal so far, which I'm pretty happy with. So, say hi, Joey. So that's the goal. We're gonna keep trying to get this off without actually getting down to the bare metal on the van. We're almost there. Yeah. Okay, go turn it off. So I, I wash all this area down with just water just to get the dust off. And then I'm going to use a, just a cheap glass cleaner, lint-free cloth. You just really want to make sure there's no debris left on here that's going to come between your primer or your adhesive and cause this not to stick long term. So I'm going to wash this three or four times. Probably overkill, but I don't care. All right, so I'm not a window guy. Um, this is what I chose to use. Uh, the directions on this call for this uh, 3M single step primer. And I think you're supposed to have bought some applicator thing, but I didn't. So let's hope that cotton balls don't mean that my window's gonna fall off because that's how I'm gonna put it on there. But you're supposed to put this on, let it dry for about five minutes, then adhere this, and then hopefully the hopefully it works. Minutes? You're supposed to open this up and read the directions, but uh, I'm not really going to do that. So let's see what happens.
So this is pretty potent stuff. Definitely recommend some gloves and don't let your kids sniff it. Okay, so here's my plan for doing this solo. I don't have any suction cups for the window. I actually just opened up the window for the first time. Fortunately, it looks like a perfect fit. It's the right color. Um, I cut a pretty big hole here in the caulking gun because I want to get a really good bead um, for water, for not only adhesion, but to keep water out. And then I'm going to pre-tape my window, I'll put tape on the window, hold it in place, and then kind of wrap that tape up to hold it in place. I guess I have the option of going a little heavy or a little light with this adhesive, and I'm going to go heavy because you can always squish it down and get it to the depth that you want, but it's hard if you have a void to fill that back up. So if I have a little bit of mess afterwards, oh well, but I guess I'd rather have that than nothing else. So here goes. Okay, so I'm just gonna conclude this. These were factory installed. I don't really know what they're for, maybe just to set them in each corner. The replacement window didn't come with any, and so we'll see if the window falls out. Uh, the only thing I recommend is I used a shop vac to clean up all the broken glass down here, because it is just so sharp. So just be real careful with that. But the piece of glass on Amazon, I'll link it, is like $80 plus shipping. So maybe 100, 110 bucks from Amazon the cheapest quote we got to have this replaced was almost $500. So as far as level of DIY skill needed, if you do DIY projects, if you can run a caulking gun and scrape stuff, I would, I would attempt it because you're 120, 130 bucks all in. And if it goes terrible, you can have a glass company redo it. But it went pretty easily. Um, glad I tried it. Glad somebody on the group here commented that I should do it. So Thanks, hope you guys enjoyed it. Save some money, have fun.